Hello everyone, my name is Madison and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, for today's video I figured I would do a little bit of a Sephora haul. Um, more of just like a makeup haul, not everything is from Sephora actually. And I figured I would apply some of the products I got to my face and then if I have something that I'm not going to be using, I'll just let you guys know that I picked it up. I figured this was a little bit more entertaining than just me showing you everything I got out of a box. So... Stay tuned if you would like to see this makeup look with all of my new makeup. Alright, so we got some like new to the market stuff. We got some like just new to me stuff. So we're just going to get started. I've already prepped my skin. And I think the first thing we'll start with is... I think we're going to do eyes first. Alright, for eyes, I feel like that's like the least exciting things that I have. But we're going to look at everything. Um, I picked up some of the Danessa Myricks color fixes. Um, I have a couple of these, or I have at least one. So I decided to pick up a few more. They can be used on your lips, your cheeks, or your eyes. So that's cute. Um, I'll show you what they look like. They look like this. But I'm going to be using a couple different colors. Alright, so the first one I'm going to be going in with is the shade Exposed. It's like this, like, kind of pink-brown matte. And let me roll up my sleeves. I'm going to take a little bit of it on my hand. That might be too much. I'm not sure. These usually go a pretty long way. And then I'm going to grab just kind of like a shader brush, like a flat shader brush. And I'm going to pick that up. And I'm going to just start applying it to my eye. Here, I'll zoom in even further. I'm going to start applying it. It's like a really gorgeous like medium shade so it's not too dark. Yeah these go a super long way. I picked up way too much of my brush so I'm going to just like lay it on the lids. I don't think these dry fast. I might be wrong. I'm just kind of like patting it down so to make sure I have the pigment that I want and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and yeah start blending it out. This is a gorgeous color. Wow 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 wow. That is a stunning color. Wow yeah these are this color is so good. On the online, the reason I bought it is because it looked so good on the little, um, I don't know what you call that, like the photos that they put of the models wearing the products on like Sephora. And this just looks stunning. And obviously it's the product itself. Really, really pretty. So I just got like, kind of like an all over little like smoky base and that's actually going to work pretty well for what I have planned I think let's see I have this new Kosa's um what are these called like the little eye 10 second eye things I have that and then I also have some of the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows that I picked up these really sparkly like eye toppers as well as these little Morphe quads, um, they like have, but I swatched these and I was not impressed with either one. And I don't think either one is like really what I'm going for. So I think we're going to top it with one of the Urban Decay and then maybe we'll, I don't know. Let's try the, the Kosas. It's, this is in the shade Simmer. Let me get a mirror. Okay, I'm just going to put that on the lid. It is very much a lot lighter. So let's just take it with my finger, I guess, and pat it in. A little goes a long way with this product as well. Okay, so we're just kind of creating a gradient from light to dark. It's kind of just doing the work for me. These dry down a lot faster than the Danessa Myricks did. That's how that's looking. It's pretty. I just like really shimmery. Like, 
if I'm gonna not just wear a completely matte eye, I want something shimmery. So I'm gonna take this um, Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in the shade Cosmic. It's like the white glitter you can kind of see. And I'm gonna take it with my finger and I'm gonna apply that in the center. Just tapping it on and then using a dry finger that has nothing on it to kind of diffuse it out. So. See, that just kind of gave the eye like something special. And then I do have a new liner I wanted to try, wherever it is. Oh, it's from ColourPop. Hopefully it works with this look. It's the ColourPop liner in the shade Honey Girl. It's like, you can barely see. It's literally my like, skin tone, pretty much. And I don't know, I was just interested that they had a, like a felt tip liner in this color. So maybe I'm going to do like, kind of like a, like a nude liner. I don't know, let's just see. I like the ColourPop felt tip liners. They don't last a ton, but they are very affordable. So it's not like the biggest deal in my opinion. And they do go on really well. All right, let's kind of make a little wing. It's not going on like as smoothly as I feel a black would here. But I don't know, I kind of like it. Especially since this light, this eye look is a little bit more neutral. I feel like this just gives it a little bit of a pop while still keeping the eyes really bright. Yeah, it is like kind of like stipping. Not really stipping, but um... It's a little too like liquidy to the point where it's... You can kind of just see, I think. All right, that's what it's looking like. Again, it was like kind of liquidy, so like some of the areas are not super opaque, I feel like, but I feel like it accomplished the look I'm going for. All right, so that's pretty much it with the eyes. Um, I think so far everything looks really good. It's kind of like a neutral, little bit of a boring eye, but I think the liner kind of helped it step up a little. I'm going to zoom out and we're going to go on with the face. So for the face, I do have some new things. I picked up two of these little Smashbox mini primers. Now, now I'm not sure if this is just a repackage or if it's, come on, or if it is a reformulation because they came out with like all of their primers in this packaging including the primerizer that's the other one that I got I never tried it. it used to be in like a pump but now it's in this packaging so I got a little bit of it but since this one is a little bit newer maybe I'm not sure I'm gonna try this one this is the illuminate it's really cute because it's tiny bear with me with the focus sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I'm gonna take that it's kind of like a beige color and oh it feels really good feels a little silicone-y I'm not sure if these have silicone in them but it has like that smooth feeling when you put it on your face it has a little bit of a tack to it, which is always nice because usually that means it'll kind of stick to your makeup a little better. Um, for foundation, we're going to go in with the Dior for Forever Skin Glow. This is just the glowy version. They have two, the matte and the um, glow, and I got the glow because that's my journey. Also, to know that the packaging on this one is glossy and then the matte is matte. I just think that is... I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was genius. Um, maybe I don't get out enough. 
All right, I'm going to take a little bit of that. And then another new thing I wanted to mention is I picked up the, um, what are they called? Morphe X Ariel. Um, I think that's how you say his name. Brush set. It looks like this. I guess I can show you. So I picked this up. I've been wanting it for a while. I've been seeing a lot of people have been really enjoying it. So I decided to pick it up. So I'm going to go in with the A24 from that to apply my foundation. This color might be a little yellow. I've never tried any Dior complexion products. Um, I think the only thing I've ever tried is the blush and the lip products, honestly. So let's just see. Very, like, fragrant perfume smell. Uh, I'm sure that's, like, the case with most, like, luxury brands. Usually they have, like, that very, like, fragrant perfume. All right. Color is a little yellow, but I have a turtleneck on today, so it's not the worst. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Definitely not full, full coverage. Um, I guess I could read what this product is supposed to be about. Alright, so this foundation is supposed to be a medium coverage, the radiant finish, and it has SPF in it. So that's probably the smell I'm smelling with the perfume because it didn't quite just smell like perfume. kind of smelled like something different. Um, SPF in your makeup is nice. You're not going to get full protection unless you're using like... 16 pumps of foundation but all right let's see all right the finish definitely is radiant but let me turn down the light so you can see I don't know it's really clinging to like my dry patches right around here um it dries down pretty fast, I noticed that, so you might just want to work in sections. And, I don't know. I'm not having the best skin week, so it could just be that, but I just feel like it's a little drying. Like, I can see all of like, my little hairs, and it looks a little heavy for a medium coverage, I feel like. Like, it just looks doesn't look like skin which is fine that's not what it's claiming well it has supposed to have a 24 hour wear i'm not going to be doing a wear test like filming one but i will update you guys in the description about how this wore but right now i'm just feeling like it looks nice but it looks a little heavy in my opinion so let's just keep going and we'll see what's happening so for concealer i don't really have anything new well, actually, I'm going to do my concealer. I'm going to do things a little different than I usually do. I've been trying to change things up. So, for contour, I have this new Rare Beauty bronzer stick. This is the shade Always Sunny. It's a little bit more of a deeper shade, but I got it because I wanted it to be kind of like a sculpt and bronze in one. So, I'm going to... Very creamy. It glides on like nothing. And I'm going to take a brush and just kind of Alright, I'm just going to take the same brush I actually used for the foundation. Pretty easy to blend so far. It. This is the second time I've used this. Um, I think I like it, but I'm not really sure yet. Just gonna do the nose, and we're gonna clean everything up with concealer, obviously. Under the lip and the jaw. Just 
keeps kind of going around and tapping. So that's what that looks like. I feel like the color, even though I got a deeper one, I feel like it blends away pretty easily. Like, I don't look at myself and think I look, like, overly bronzed or contoured or anything like that. Um, which is interesting because I did get, like, I think it was, like, three shades in. And usually I would pick, you know, the first shade. But I think it's nice. It's definitely a product, though, that if I want to go for more of a contoured look, I would have to layer something on top of it. Let's just continue on with some, I guess we're going to do blush. Um, this one isn't necessarily new, but it's the ColourPop At First Blush. Um, I just haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to pick some of that up. This is a A58. I can't remember if this is a good way to like pick up these blushes or not. This is just like a really like nice pinky blush. Has a little bit of a shimmer, but with our base so radiant, I don't really think it's going to be overly... Well, it's pretty shimmery, actually. Actually, I really like this blush. It looks super healthy. In my opinion. Uh, I have brush hairs all over me. It looks like a really super like healthy radiant blush. I really like that. I like how it's kind of going with the eyes because the eyes have a little bit of like a frosty tint to them so I really like how the blush is looking. Now let's do concealer. I don't have a new concealer to try but I am just going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill. Um, I'm just trying to give this another shot because I bought it like simply because I bought it and I don't want to waste it so we're gonna just try it another time and see what the deal is feel like maybe I used a little bit more of a hydrating base this time. Maybe that's the key. Let's just go in with our beauty blender. No, this is such a dry concealer. Jeez. It's just disappointing. It's disappointing when you buy something and it just looks like it's going to be so good. And it's just not, and I don't know. It's not a bad concealer for like spot concealing. I might have gone a little light today with it, but what light with the color, I mean. Let's see. So that's how the under eyes are looking. Um, yeah, I'm still not going to say this is, like, my favorite concealer because it's definitely down there, not up there at all. Um, I'm going to do a cream highlight. I'm going to use this new Fenty one. This is the Liquid Kilowatt. This is the shade Side Chick. It's the first shade in the collection. I'm going to kind of shake it a little and put a really tiny amount it's very liquidy so i'm gonna do a very very tiny amount and i had a brush i was applying this with yesterday oh i'm gonna take this brush this is a where did i get this aoa studio e106 oh it's from that store miss a is that what it's called I'm going to apply that, and then I'll blend it out with my... I've been really liking to highlight the chin lately, which is something that I never used to think looked good. I think that highlight's pretty. Um, I think I re uh, mentioned this maybe before. Um, I just, like, mentioned that I had gotten it, and it looks a little glittery when you, like, swatch it, and it was a little bit more glittery than I was expecting, but on the face, it does do, like, a nice little, like, glow. Um, let's do a little bit more. 
I think that looks pretty though. All right, All right now I'm going to go in with powder, and for that I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier, I think it's the Light Catching Translucent Powder. This is the shade Celestial Light. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to do my favorite powder brush, which is the It Cosmetics. Um, it just says powder on it. I'm going to take a little bit of that on the brush and I'm going to kind of do it on my hand. And then we're just going to start powdering. So this is supposed to be a pretty luminous setting powder, like a luminous version of the original Laura Mercier, which everyone and their mother loves. Um, I've never tried that one, or maybe I tried it like a long time ago, like when it, like 10 years ago maybe, but I've always been scared because I have dry skin and I don't want it to clean, but look at that. That looks beautiful. I don't look dry either, which is kind of amazing in my opinion. Like, I'm either, I'll show you like, like, I look good. Like, it looks really, really good. I used it yesterday and I was like, shocked at how good it looks. Another foundation I wanted to mention is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. I tried this yesterday with the Laura Mercier powder, and it literally looked like my skin was photoshopped. It looked so amazing, so I just wanted to mention that one as well. But the powder made the Dior foundation look a little bit better, in my opinion. Um, this might be too glowy for some people, but for me, it's, like, perfect. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going. I am going to take my little... Um, Jaclyn Hill face palette thing and I'm just going to lightly dust into that like light pink color just to bring a little bit of a highlight right in this section but you can use any pink powder if you want to achieve that same look all right to further bronze I'm going to take this this is the Kosas um soft bronze in the shade light and I am just going to This is like a luminous bronzer. I feel like we lost a lot of the bronzer in with the powder and then with the blush. Like I just feel like the Rare Beauty one, if you like a very, very subtle bronzer, I think you'll like it. But same with this. This is very subtle. This is more of like a bronzer topper in my opinion. Um, I just wish I had something a little bit more pigmented underneath to give me a little bit more of like dimension in the skin but other than that I like it let's go ahead and move forward with the rest of the eyes and then we will finish up all right I could use this this is um something new that I purchased recently this is the pop beauty light show palette in the shade basic uh Tati talked about this here on YouTube on I believe might have been her 2021 favorites. Um, she mentioned this because she really likes the glitters in here. And the palette does look really nice. Um, I've only played with it very, um, very limited amount of times. But I think I'm just going to take some of these shades right here. And run them under my lower lash line. You can't even see that liner. It kind of just like went away with me dusting like the powder products on my skin. Which I guess is fine. It was really subtle anyways, but I don't know. I don't know if that's the liner's fault, my fault, both. Probably my fault. Alright, that was boring use of that palette, but that's... That's what I'm doing today. And then I'm going to go in with another of the Danessa Myrick's color fixes. This is a foiled one. This is the shade Milky Way. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of that. It's like a very reflective kind of platinum color. And I'm going to take a itty bitty brush and pick a little bit of that up. Kind of tap the excess off on my hand. And I am going to use that as an inner corner highlight. It's 
very sparkly, very like foiled metallic, which I love. This would be good for like a euphoria look, I feel like. Put this like under your eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit on the center as well, just because I feel like maybe that's what we want. I'm just going to use a finger and kind of tap, tap, tap. Alright, I like how that looks a lot. I just love like a glitter sparkly eye. I just think that's so pretty. Next, I'm going to be going in with something that is new to me, but not necessarily new, like some of these other products. This is the Morphe Big Prime Lash Primer. It's the blue lash primer. Um, I've used it a couple times, and I'm only going to use it on one side, and then we're going to discuss whether we think it's good or not. I really like the color. I think the blue is really cool. If I was going to do like a like a fun eyeshadow look, I would maybe just use this as my mascara. Alright, I think you're supposed to let it dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. This is something new to me as well. Um, this is the Rare Beauty Mascara. I'm going to just do this one straight on the lashes. No primer. Everyone raves about this mascara. So we will see. I personally, my favorite mascara is the Lancome Once You're Big Mascara. I don't think anything can make your eyelashes look like that one makes them look, but people love this mascara. I've seen so many creators who usually have my taste in mascaras um, switch over to this one and say it's like their favorite mascara they've ever used, blah, blah, blah. So I am interested. I have been using a lash serum as well, so my eyelashes are a little bit bigger. Now let's move on to the primed side. I do like that this is a blue primer, so you don't have to work so hard to get all of that like white chalkiness off your lashes. I feel like that's a reason I never really got into lash primer because I didn't want to like have to like struggle covering up that like white paint glue consistency on my eyelashes. All right, on the side with the primer, I feel like they're definitely a little bit more voluminous. Maybe that's because like every lash was already coated with some kind of product, so it was very easy for the mascara to like do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat on this one, and then we'll kind of see how they look. Something I've noticed um, the other time I used this as well, I'm really messy with this mascara for some reason. I don't know if it's the brush. Or it could be like that my eyelashes are growing a little bit and I'm not used to that. Let's go ahead and do a second coat on this side just to make it fair. I'm just going to barely tap it though because I don't want like spider lashes like I kind of already have. I think the primer definitely did work. I feel like they're more... Alright, I think this mascara is really pretty. Let's go ahead and slap it on the bottom. And then I will just clean up the mascara on my lid. Alright, so that's how the eyes are looking. Let's finally do some brows. Um, for that, I'm going to be using the new Bite Size Brow Palette from e.l.f. This is in the shade Blonde. Um, I kind of wish I would have gotten a darker shade, but we're going to roll with it. So I think I'm going to take a little spoolie. So there's two waxes in here, and then two powders. The powders look way too warm for me, so I'm gonna try to use the darker wax, maybe? Picking it up on a spoolie. It, it doesn't have like a very waxy consistency. It's kind of like chalking up. I mean, I think that that definitely did something, but 
Like, I definitely wouldn't keep my eyebrows like that. I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling them in with, um, I think this is just the Anastasia Brow Pencil, the original. Alright. I feel like the wax maybe did a little something. My eyebrows definitely are, like, a little waxy. Like I said, I think I need a darker color just to, like, really see if I like the product or not. But for now, I don't have one. All right, for lips, is that the last thing? Oh, yeah, lips would be the last thing. Okay, so I think I'm going to do two things. I'm going to try out this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Diamonds. It's like this really sparkly lipstick. Let me line my lips. Hold. All right. So this is the shade Pillow Talk Diamonds. I just lined my lips with MAC Oral. So definitely a frosty lip. Might be a little too nude for today. Um, I have another shade of it actually. Let me, let me wipe it off. Hold on. All right, we got some of the liner still there. It's fine. This is the shade Lucky Diamonds. All right, so that's like a bronze metallic. I actually kind of like that. For the last thing, I'm just gonna hit with some setting spray that's new to me. This is the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. This has the finest mister. Like, it barely touches your skin, which... I don't know, I just feel like I'm using a lot when I use it. All right. Let's see. All right, I think that was really pretty. So that is the final look. Um. I pretty much liked everything I tried. I think the foundation looks really good. Like I said, I'll update in the description. I don't know if it'll be updated by the time I post, but at some point when I wear this foundation all day, I will update you guys either in the description in the description or in another video. Um, I pretty much loved everything. I like how the look came out. The eyes are pretty simple, but I like kind of like that with like the more metallic bronzy lip. It's a different lip for me for sure, but I am into it like I feel like this might be like make it to like my everyday makeup drawer um my favorite thing I used I think is the Laura Mercier um light catching powder I would definitely recommend it especially if you have dry skin or you're more into dewy skin and you don't like too mattifying of a powder this set my makeup really well but it added just like the most beautiful like blurred glow effect so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is like the majority of what I got. Anything else that I didn't mention was just like little things that I didn't feel like you guys need to know about or I'll be using it in like another video that I film really soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like new makeup haul slash um, get ready with me slash trying new makeup. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.